Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about all the games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion, I almost said Sonic Adventure. Last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up Area 2. We're already halfway through this game in terms of area numbers. Anyways, in this episode we're going to go ahead and continue on to Area 3. We got a club key, which means that we can go through the club door all the way in the top left. I haven't mentioned this before, but Luigi whistles along with the main theme of the game, and he hums it whenever it's dark, and the more damage he gets, the more strained the humming gets. It's one of my favorite details of this game. So before we go into Area 3, first off, I forgot to mention that we... We should go ahead and go back to the kitchen to get some water. We want to get water from the sink because there's some stuff to water. Uh, obviously, I don't know why I said it like that. First, we want to head over to this plant over here. It's already grown into, it's already starting to grow some leaves. And it's got some petals as well, is what I meant to say. And that's all we can do so far. We're going to come back after we complete Area 3 and see if we can get anything from watering it. Hmm. Next, you should make sure you still have a good bit of water with you because there's some stuff we've got to water over in area three as well. I don't think we need too much, but you know, just in case. We have the courtyard back here and we have a few uh, pieces of interest. First of all, if you water this plant, I believe, yep, you get an emerald. Second of all, you want to stand next to this well and listen very closely. You hear that? If you're not sure what that is, let's go ahead and show it to you. Under the well, or bottom of the well. We now know what has happened to Mario. And, if you can't tell, we can see who's behind it all. Anyways, we get a key from that 0 HP ghost. That's like the only 0 HP ghost you need to kill in this game. Except maybe, like, a couple at the very end of the game, but... You know, that doesn't matter. What does matter is this birdhouse right here, and it gives us Mario's letter. Now we could go ahead and give that to Madame Clairvoya, but you know what, I'll do that a bit later when it's more convenient. Statue right here. Feels like it'll be a bit redundant to just keep saying, oh hey, I'm getting a bunch of money from this. So for this uh, little outhouse right here, you wanna stand back a bit, and then start using your vacuum on it. That'll shake it and open it. If you don't do that, then the door will whack you in the face. But we've got a toad. You saw him, didn't you? How could they do that to Mario? When I saw him like that, I completely lost it and ran away through, through the mansion looking for a hiding place. When I was running though, I did happen to notice that Mario left some of his things lying around the place. A hat, a glove, a shoe, a letter, and a star. I saw five, of, five items all together. I'd go collect them for you if I could remember where they were. Yeah, I probably should have picked some up. Leave it to me. Uh, huh? Really? You'll find all Mario's items for me? Yippee skip yahoo! Oh, thanks so much, Luigi. We of course save. And now we want to enter here. 
This is the rec room. First, there's a machine back here, I believe. And unless I'm incorrect, is that not it? What about this? Maybe, maybe this. Yep, Speedy Spirit, one of these little workout machines over here, gives us a ruby. Our fifth one. Now that's all we have in this room. There's also, if you run on this treadmill here, you'll get a key. So that's also something. And there's also, of course, a boss fight right here. This is Biff Atlas, I think. Look at this buffness. I'm huge. How how do you like to be my punching bag weakling? Actually, he's going to be our punching bag. Ow. No, oh, I guess we're his punching bag. He's gonna walk over here, punch him again. He's gonna start charging at us. I have to dodge him real quick. And then once we hit him a third time, his heart will appear. And this is a bit tough because yeah, there's a bunch of stuff all over the place, and so you can have a bit of trouble with suck. That was my bad, that was my bad, I let go of R2 soon. I shouldn't let go of R at all, but I thought that I thought that he wasn't going to get vacuumed properly, so I let go for a second without realizing that I already had him perfectly where I wanted him, and I'm going to lose him this time. Yeah. Just five left, though. I'll probably have a bronze on this one, but... Eh. There we go, finally. This is all lit up. Ooh, we've got a money chest. It's been a little bit since I've played this game, so I don't remember all of the chests and stuff like that. A diamond! Neato. Surprised that didn't activate the boo. There we go. Oh, nope, that's a bomb. Sorry. I don't know why I said sorry. Let's see. Boo regard. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, thank god he was just about to go through that wall. I am so glad that he didn't go through that. Oh wait, sorry, I skipped a bunch of text. Uh, he's basically just explaining fire beats ice, ice beats water, water beats fire. I made sure I said that in the correct order. But yeah, now we could go back to area two from that hallway, and now I'm gonna give Madame Clairvoya Mario's letter. Come on. There we go. Do, 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 do. Is the object. This is Mario's letter. Give it to me. I will read it at once. Um, sure, it's okay. I'm a licensed letter reader. What, what? Hmm, let's see. L O O K O U T F O R B O O S L U I G I. That all? Not a novelist, your Mario. This must have been with him in quite a hurry. Oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come spirits of power. Come spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orbs and my clan. Use your dark young power to show us all you could. I mean, can show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits comes. Show us what we seek. Mario's imprisoned, but where, oh, where is he being held? Just a painting, your Mario's been imprisoned within a painting. 
My orb shows an odd altar, and come on, you stupid orb. Yes, above it, your Mario, trapped in a painting. Ah, I cannot concentrate. The spirits are leaving me. If you wish to know more of your Mario, bring more of his dropped items. So yeah, she's just giving us all of the knowledge on Mario being trapped in a painting. Now, let me check something real quick. Because unless I'm not as knowledgeable on this as I thought, there should be a speedy spirit down here. In this table. Well, I could have gotten this earlier, but thank God and uh, thank God that tablecloth didn't mess that up for me because if it did, that would have sucked. I keep saying sucked and I'm making an ac accidental joke. Your ears don't deceive you. Yes, that is the crackling of fire up here. We want to go ahead and wash that all out, wait for the smoke to clear, and then once it finally clears, we can open up the door to the tea room. Right over here, we have a new mechanic, which is these little flippy things that'll flip you up to the ceiling. This makes fighting ghosts a bit harder, but it makes it easier to reach some stuff. So I'll try to fight the ghosts while up here. I've never actually fought ghosts while on the ceiling, I usually just flip back down to the floor. But I'm doing better at that than I thought I would. Gosh dang it, I forgot about the golden mouse. Okay. Uh, missed one golden mouse. There is a golden mouse, I think, behind a table. But here's the ice metal. Hey now, Luigi, what have you found there? Let me see it. Oh, uh, it's uh, an ice metal. Now you can use the ice element. Ice metal elemental ghosts are found only in chilly places. You can probably find them in refrigerators and cold areas like that. My research shows that they come out of hiding when you approach. Use the L button to expel ice element once you vacuum up one of the ghosts. If you press the L button all the way in, you can shoot out a frigid lump of ice. Yes, sir, when water gets cold, it freezes, right? Ice can be very effective against water. You could use it on water ghosts, for example. Even a hot bath would get cold pretty quickly if you iced it down. That's actually a hint for a ghost that we're about to see. Very convenient thing you found there. So yeah, a bit of a long-winded explanation, but I missed a golden mouse, so... Yeah, I'll put up a text on screen when I first come in here saying there's a golden mouse behind one of the tables. Uh... Oh, Ruby! I didn't even know that was in there! Cool. Oh, that's weird. That's a weird texture glitch. The part that I sucked on was the only part left. Mr. Boo Jangles. On. Okay. Thank goodness. Aren't you just loving my brilliant inventions, he says. Now that we've got that, we're gonna head over and fight another boss ghost. Egad mentioned that a bath, even if it was a hot bath, would become extremely cold once you use the ice element, and we'll get to that in a second. Oh! Oh! Here's a fire ghost. You have to use water on this one. Uh, on. Can this expel water or do I have to come back later? I'll come back later to this. Okay, back here with some water. Hopefully there aren't any other elemental ghosts that need to... that need an element. Did that. Hit him with the flashlight, suck him up, please be over. Okay, that room is over, and we got some money, so hey, it wasn't all bad. Hey, that's actually quite a bit. I thought it was only gonna be like a couple of bills. And, and some coins, of course. Okay, now, now I have to go back and get the ice. Okay, now that we've got the ice, we're gonna head on over to... Or maybe... 
Can I go to the right place yet? Because if not, the whole ice debacle was... Well, it only saved me a couple seconds. Okay, no, I can actually go in here. But we want to pull back this curtain. Make her sneeze. And then we can start vacuuming her. Ah, okay. Yeah, boss fights in tighter, more cramped spaces can be a bit tougher. We make her sneeze. Flashlighter, vacuumer, and she is done. I forget her exact name, but eh. There's a key. That leads over there, but I'll get to that in a second because there's also a boss ghost right over here. I'm doing things a bit out of order, but as long as I get everything that I need, and everything should be good. Speedy spirit in here. But you don't want to bump into the uh, into the chair there because it'll knock you back. I don't think it does any actual damage. Nope, it's just annoying. But here is Nana, and you want it. Knock all of her yarn balls out of this bowl, I guess? I don't know why she has yarn balls in a bowl. Unless that's something that you have to do with when it comes to knitting that I just don't understand because I don't knit. The last ball over here. And sometimes they'll just despawn and go back over there. Here, here it is. Also, also, Nana has laser eyes, so be careful of that. Oh, no, please. No, not. Okay, thankfully the poison mushroom didn't affect us. We get our first big pearl in a while. I forget exactly when the last one was. But we got a key. And of course we got a boo to hunt down. I hope I haven't missed any boos. That would suck. Um booger. Hundred I think this is our first boot to have a hundred HP. Ow! Yeah, sometimes they can just run into you and then they go out into the hallway where they're much easier to attack because of stuff like this come on oh okay the boo is somewhere else this is somewhere that I'm gonna get to in a little bit but for now there's a lot of chaos going on right now but we did some pretty good stuff this episode we defeated a couple of boss ghosts we got our first big pearl in a while and we got a good amount of money so i think this is a good place to end off the episode thank you guys so much for watching in the next episode we're gonna go ahead and continue on with area three maybe if the same pattern keeps up like how it has with the other areas we'll complete them all within the next episode hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye